Okay, welcome to this channel again. Today we'll see unsupervised image classification in QGIS. For this exercise, we'll use K-mean classification and uh, as usual, importing data for our size is arcade. I already import this image and this image is sentinel image that's uh, cropped to a specific uh, area. And uh, when we uh, see the force color of an image, uh, can easily understood that. Here we have urban area, forest here, another forest area here, water body around here, another water body here, and also here we, we can see a water body. And uh, let us see how uh, unsupervised classification uh, work in image classification, mainly in uh, QGIS. So let's start. For this, we have to click here on process, then toolbox. When you click on toolbox, processing toolbox pop up here. So let us uh, go to the OTB. Under OTB, a lot of uh, classification methods are there. And uh, here, learning, machine learning. So, K mean classification is the classification method that we use for uh, this uh, today. So let us click on this algorithm. So, K mean classification. And uh, we have to specify input image. Our input image is study area image that we uh, import to the QGIS. Number of class uh, is optional, so we have to specify the number of uh, class that we get uh, in uh, output image. Let's use this uh, five. Training set size and the maximum number of iteration shall be also identified. This one is. Uh, Machine learning in machine learning, uh, we have to have training uh, data and also iteration is required. Let's use uh, other uh, input as a default. For example, input centro text file is optional, sample type is also optional. Let's uh, accept the defaults. We have to identify uh, output image and also if you look at outputs as in throats text file uh, which is optional uh, shall be uh, also specified let's specify outputs image so click here on this button and uh, save and let's save our outputs in desktop somewhere let's uh, use image analysis and uh, let's say unsupervised class unsupervised class then save then Right. Yeah, it's running now. It may take some time based on the. Yeah, this is already done. So let's uh, close this one and uh, see the classified image. And uh, this one is a classified uh, image. Double click here on un unsupervised classification. And let's select palette, OK, then classify. Then when we apply, you can see classified image. And uh, let's change uh, some colors. This area is a cultural area, and this area is the urban area. So let's make uh, this one green to red. And let's change this one to somewhere like this and uh, let apply and uh, the classified image look like this and this one is the forest area this one is also the forest area and uh, this one is urban area urban area and with her body uh, having the same uh, class in this uh, classification of course it should be identified and uh, this uh, better to have supervised classification to get more accurate uh, results and uh, we'll have uh, that exercise in next video uh, if you like uh, this video please don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe so you will get the update uh, information thank you